Okay, now you saw us carrying out a skill when it came to a natural gas leak involving a residential meter. There's a couple of things that you might have noticed that we were doing on there. I want to kind of hit a couple of those highlights. I want to make sure everybody understands those. First and foremost is what we need to look at is our personal protective equipment. And I know I say that first, but that's actually our last line of defense. Make sure that when you're approaching an unignited flammable gas, you are in your full protective clothing, including your SCBA when you approach. Also, you might have noticed that one of the personnel as we came in first is that we monitored. We used direct reading instruments. We were establishing a hot zone so that we knew exactly where the gas might be. Keep in mind that you come up with your action levels. For us, in this scenario, we were using 10% of the lower explosive limit because that's what our, nat that's what our uh, combustible gas indicator, our foregas monitor, alarms at. So when it would start reading at 10 and start beeping at our guy, he told the other guy, hey, I need you to put, the, I need you to put a cone down here, and that's how we were able to identify our hot zone. That was our action levels on that. Also notice that where we were parking the apparatus. Um, for this uh, uh, evolution, it might have seemed a little bit close, but think about it in real life. If you're having to go up and perform an off offensive action, what is the one thing that's going to have to keep in mind? Well, your water source. If you're actually going to go up there, you've got to park close enough so that you can use your pre-connects. If you don't have that ability to stretch your water that close to protect you to come up and shut it down, you're not, you're not going to be able to do anything. We're recommending that you have to have a water source when you approach an unignited flammable gas fire, so don't forget that. Use your emergency response guidebook if you're not sure. Uh, you noted that the driver of this apparatus, he was using the ERG to make sure that he understood where we were and we weren't forgetting anything on this. We know we make a lot of these types of incidents and they get to be a little bit uh, routine, but don't let that fool you. These are the things that can catch you and, and sneak up on you and, and bite you in the butt. So be careful about that. Also, keep in mind, when we did this scenario, we, uh, we showed you shutting off the valve. It's never that easy. Be prepared to go in there. I recommend at least a 14 inch crescent wrench when you're reaching in there to try to shut off on a residential. As you might know, you never know where it's going to be located on the meter. When I say that, I mean how close to the ground, how much room do you got so that you can turn and get leverage on that. Be prepared to um, have to come up with something and figure that out as you go.